What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Kind of Funny Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Nick Scarpino, alongside the second best baby blues in all of California, maybe the world, Mr. Tim Geddes. Let's him host. Uh, joining us as well is It's Christmas in the beginning of March. Mr. Joey Noel. Hello. And rounding out the quartet of people today. It was Andy Cortez. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. He, Nick started quiet with this yeah. nice little thing because yeah. the music in the room was just a little quieter than normal. So that like yeah. let off Nick of like, all right, cool. I guess this is the vibe the we're going to today. Bring, yeah. I like to embrace whatever the world's going to give. It's us. a Monday energy. Low we bye. we did we sat Low here a few hours ago. It was Andy Cortez. Uh, we sat here a few hours ago, and uh, we Mike made us taste Monster Energy drinks, mm -hmm. which are every bit as disgusting as I remember them being. <laughs> and Andy and I were, oh man, we were riding on a just a I cloud. need one right now. Did he get rid of all of them? I think oh, there's still Roger one left. Might have just poured them all out in the sink. There you go. You guys put them by the sink. Boy, that, did we crash! I feel like that's like a these are ready to be trash. Kind you don't of. normally crash after Monster. <laughs> maybe maybe you, you went over you overdosed on the Monster. I mean, like, the thing is, I don't, the thing is, I don't drink the sugary stuff. I always get, like, the zero everything. And I think because these were so sugary mm. that I'm getting the sugar. The Watermelon crash, sugar. sugar crash. Yeah. Barrett, can you bring me my SpongeBob thing or something to put Watermelon in the general sugar vicinity? Crash. Do you know his name? Uh, Starry or Starry Night. Starry, Starry Night. <laughs> Patrick Close. Star. Samuel Patrick Star. Star. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Would you have known that? Does Patrick Star sound familiar? Yeah, I, I heard you guys talk, saying that name last week, yeah. uh, but I'm just not a SpongeBob guy. Of course guy. not. Yeah, no, I've never been like, a SpongeBob no. guy. It's just like, that is surprising that like, and I, I get it, because like, I mean, I, SpongeBob was like mid, but like tail end of when I would have been watching it, Um, but like, obviously, I know all the characters, I know everything about it, Sure, but like, I'd always wondered, like, I wonder if, like, a generation above us even knows anything. Yeah, like, it feels so, like, like, can you name the Rugrats? No. I didn't oh. know they had names. I thought they were just the Rugrats. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No, couldn't name no one of them. Couldn't name a single Rugrat. Tommy Pickles. That's, you're making Tommy that Finster. up. Tommy Finster. Bill and Lil. Tommy, Tommy's little brother. Dill. Okay, here's it. Give me, how many Rugrats are there? Like six or seven? Give me. Depends on what, yeah. what the cutoff is. Yeah. All right, well, what, the original six. Give me seven names, and I'll try to pick out the one ones. that's not a real rug rat. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I got this. I got this. Yeah. Can you do this for me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, Barrett. You're the best of us. Phil, Lil, Jill, mm -hmm. Dill. You got to give last names for all of them. Huh? You got to give the last names. I don't know Phil and Lil's last name. DeVille. Phil and Lil DeVille, and then there's uh, Dill Pickles. Tommy Pickles, Jack Pickles. What's the Jack Pickles is wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you heard somebody laugh. Yeah, I heard like, Barrett laugh. You heard Barrett laugh. <laughs> 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 Jack Pickles. Jack Pickles. <laughs> you know what? You went with too many pickles. That was too close to the pickle. pickles. Well, not to mention that you changed it because you added another Lil you rhyming did. one you that you thought. But I added immediately. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a long day. It's been a long day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Kind of Funny Podcast. We're each and every week, four, sometimes five best friends gather around this table, each bringing fun topics for your amusement. Uh, a couple housekeeping things, of course. We're still neck deep in The Last of Us review right now. You guys just recorded that this morning. I have not watched the newest episode. You guys Ooh. have? I'm very excited for it. I, I saw Troy Baker in some stuff. You know, he posted that on Instagram. I'm very mm -hmm. excited to see that. And then Can't he was wait. on our episode. And he Troy was Baker hung out with us to talk about it. So, so go watch freaking cool. the new episode of Last of Us on HBO. And then go watch our Last of Us breakdown with Troy Baker. And then go watch our Creed 3 in review. Or when you Ooh. see where we ranked Creed 3 in spoilers, it's probably not where you're going to rank Creed 3 <laughs> based on the comments of the video. And, of course, make sure you guys are caught up on Scream. It is Scream Six Week. Screamy, baby. Screamy. Screamy. For the win, we are going to once again uh, continue that review with James and Elise. And very, very excited Looking to hear their thoughts on it. One. It's going to be very cool. Uh, shout out to our Patreon producers, Nathan Lamoth, Tripod Plus Plus, Trent Berry, James Hastings, and Casey Andrew. You are all incredible. Thank you for your support. Remember, if you guys want to support this show, get it early. Be in the comments right now, like Cody Hagler and Paper. Shout out to Madeline Stanley. I believe we're going to read a question yours maybe later. Uh, we have plastic in the chat, too. There you go. Oh, they're fighting. <laughs> paper, plastic. paper, plastic. Now they're like homies now. Now they're like, we want to give you the plastic. And I'm like, I don't want the plastic anymore. No, I'm a paper, paper guy. Uh, paper. Go over to patreon.com. So it's kind of funny. You guys come back us over there. Really appreciate all of that. Shout out 
to our sponsors, Shady Rays and Honey, but we'll get to that in a little bit. I, you know, there's something I think about often. Get it off oh, your mind. No. And it's just one of those weird kind of flashbacks. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, no. This is going to send us down a path that I don't... No, 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 no. no it's not, it's it's not, not one not. of these. It's just like, it's a callback to one of the first three kind of funny podcasts I was on. Black Eyed Peas. Oh, man. What Great do you know? Episode. What color is the best? The best episode the, is ranking, what were the Black Eyed Peas? You got to make them right now, okay? Because in the future, <laughs> Black Eyed Peas are dead, and <laughs> now we need a super group to come back to life. Did you but hear not that they're the coming back Black together, Eyed though? Peas. No, I didn't. I'm pretty sure this dropped Based while we were doing all the Vanderpump Rules stuff, so it got overshadowed, clearly. Uh, I missed this. What is it? Black Eyed Peas reunion. No shit. Getting back together. I didn't know the un- What does Vanderbeek have to do with that? Um, it was just the singular most defining pop culture moment that happened on Friday, so anything else that happened was eclipsed by the Vanderpump Joey, what did you think the other day when I was like, Joey, why does everybody hate <laughs> Haley Bieber? <laughs> I initially, my first gut reaction was like, I hate that I know the answer to this and I can explain it to you, but I'm happy to fill that role in this office. Wait, can I, wait, okay, first off, I want to know the answer to this because this morning when I went to my local Starbucks, uh, they had a, the tip, they did the tip jar thing, mm-hmm. which I gotta be honest, gets me every time. Mm-hmm. The, are you Haley Bieber or are you Selena Gomez? Mm-hmm. And there's oh, two tip jars. It, okay. You never seen this? No. People do this to me all the time and I'll be honest with you. I love to tip at Starbucks anyway. This Nick fucking, wa- Nick, I got it. I'm like, now I got to put two dollars. people to know his opinion. <laughs> I got to know, and they know that. And so D actually got me coffee this morning because we had to wake up. Uh, there was a, we had a service guy coming to the, coming to the apartment, and um, she got me coffee. And she told me this was the thing. She goes, "I put the dollar in the Haley Bieber oh, no. jar for you," and I was no. like. What? Don't speak for me. And she goes, I thought you would like Haley Bieber. And I was like, Well, I don't I don't dislike Haley Bieber. I don't have anything against her, but she's no Selena Gomez. Uh-huh. Like, come on. Who and is? so when I went back there for my refill, which was an hour later, I made sure to put another dollar in there. And D was like, Should I take the dollar out of the Haley Bieber thing and put yeah. it in there? And I'm like, No, that's a bridge too far. I, I love this, this because no. Andy, like you, Andy and Joey, can you imagine Nick Scarpino in the situation? Let's take away the Selena Gomez and, and Haley Bieber. Let's say it was like two things that he kn- is not rooting Again, for one. To be side fair, I'm not. Other. I'm not rooting for either side. I don't have. I don't have a. A, you know, horse in that race, the Haley Bieber versus. The, I have no problem with either of these. Humans. I can well, see Nick I, though, I, but if I, it was like, but I do think Nick makes snap judgments just on feeling. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Can you guys yeah. imagine Nick? <laughs> maybe, I made, maybe I made the judgment based on which one was better written on the actual little. Oh, fact. which sign you like? Yeah, better? which one? Which sign I thought <laughs> was a little leader, better leader. Yeah. I can just see Nick like you know putting the like the dollar in in one of them and then looking like like being confident about it, like making eye contact with the barista. barista. Putting it and in. And if there was a look, she and gave it. And he looks, oh, is that bad? Is that, <laughs> hey, can, I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch. Sorry. Hold on. I'm not going to take this dollar out to put it now. It's put already it, in put there. It, I can't put pull it out. I don't, have any more, I don't have any more one, so I only have this five, but I've committed now, so I'm just going to put it in. Were you at Starbucks this morning? <laughs> 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 no joke. Because my, I know all the people at my Starbucks now, and the, but the man, like, I respect the hell out of the managers. They've been there forever. And uh, she, I, it, the manager there, I don't want to say her name, but she was just like, Nick, it's fine. You can go. <laughs> you can it's okay, go. okay, man. It's all going to the same place. Yeah. Uh, it's all going to go I imagine to Nick being like, I'm going to see what the other people, can I, can I see what the other people do? Yeah, <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I review the footage? <laughs> so what's going, what, what is the deal? Why is Hailey Bieber in, in pop culture right now? Um, So she did a TikTok with Kendall Jenner and, uh, I think it was the, I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying that God's t- timing is always right. People think that she was shading Selena Gomez. Uh, cause people were being really mean to Selena Gomez, um, because they didn't think that she looked good on like one of the recent red carpets. And then Selena Gomez went on Instagram live and was like, Hey guys, I know that I don't look the same that I used to look, but like, I'm dealing with a lot of health stuff and I'm trying to make my health my priority. And that includes taking medications, which means like I retain a lot of water weight and all this stuff. And then there, then people are diving back because yeah, Selena Gomez that. used to date Justin Bieber, who Haley's now married to. And Haley oh. has like a history of like being really insecure about their relationship and Selena Gomez in general. And people, there's a lot of shade around all of them. Oh, and then Selena Gomez's funny. little sister was doing TikToks with uh, Northwest. And then people were like, oh, the Kardashians, clearly a house divided on this topic. Oh, wow. Wait. Wait. Joey, wow. But, like, Haley is being really weird and copying a bunch of Selena's thing. Correct. Right? Yeah. And like Haley was a weird Justin Bieber fangirl. And then there's a very funny picture of like Haley Bieber meeting uh, Selena Gomez when she was like little. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, you've always been like just a big fangirl of this girl, but you hate her because now you're married to her ex boyfriend. And I think you know, one of the stuff. funniest tweets I saw over the weekend was like this exact situation of 
I somebody asked me about the situation, so of course I started explaining. As like, how much time you got? Thirty minutes. Let me tell you all about the history. Blah blah blah. At the very end, the tweet goes. At the very end, my brother goes. Oh, I thought Haley was Justin's sister. <laughs> <laughs> and it, that's, it reminded me of Nick of like at the very yeah. very end of it <laughs> like how much of that were you getting like <laughs> just forming my entire opinion off of whatever my opinion is that's what I enjoy doing yeah, so, so the, I mean the big question is so I the dollar that I put in the Selena Should Gomez Selena. tip jar yes was that was correct and yeah. Cameron okay. Kennedy says the kind of funny has to be united in the Selena front if Andy's ever going to have a chance Yeah. I, by the way I love and also hate that it's my brand that whenever Selena does anything I get tagged in it <laughs> <laughs> I love it, and I also like really don't like it, but I like it, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, like stop, it, like keep. <laughs> yeah, totally. it, it is so. I, I didn't know anything about that. Obviously, Team Cell go for sure, but uh, we're not going to go too far into this. But I just I need to to vocalize it out for the people that this <laughs> this last couple days has just been been a lot uh, for fans of reality TV out there. Some people might call it the Super Bowl. Some people might call it Christmas. Uh, but like the most, ju the juiciest drama that could ever fucking happen in the world of Bravo reality TV went down. And I, Joey and me and Gia and pretty much anyone we know have been in multiple group threads all weekend. Yeah. Any update just freaking out over this shit. It's my favorite and when like it's just quiet and I just hear Tim go. Did you see the post about blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and and, it's, and then Joey would be like, "Oh yeah, is she she fucking blah, blah, blah. I'm like, "Oh, they're talking about some reality bullshit." <laughs> try to keep it cool. Try to keep Listen, it in between us. There are a lot of people that are highly invested. Autumn from A Hundred Thieves and I went back and forth extensively this weekend about things. <laughs> My you, dear yeah, friend Maria, this, we'll who got you, me on the Vanderpump train, that got Tim and G on the Vanderpump train. Yes. We were dissecting the Reddit. It was a whole. It, thing. It's just like it is anything that fans of the show could possibly dream for the downside is these are real people and like this is the thing of like oh, reality tv is fake it's like well let's see how fucking fake it is now and everyone's life is being destroyed before our yeah. eyes like it is like the craziest shit in the world of again not getting into the fucking details here i want the but details any, i mean it's oh, no, that's the can... thing about this is like oh, like like you were just talking about the twitter thread that ends in like wait is that the sister yeah. it's like I feel you like a crazy a person chart. trying to talk to people that don't give a shit about this. Trying to well, here's the characters you know. Pepe here's where you go. <laughs> like it's it's wild. Like, it, there's just so many intricate connections. But what it essentially boils down to is there's been this friend group that has been on a reality TV show for ten years now, and th there's been a drama throughout the entire thing of people cheating on others and blah 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 blah. The the full circle thing just happened. Of there's been an affair happening for at least a year at this point. And it is between like best friends with their best friends' wives and stuff, and it is disgustingly salacious. juicy. It's the most salacious shit possible. It's to the Great point word, where it's Thank like you. good word. The exes of exes have now hooked up. Oh, so wow. it's all it's it's a circle. It's crazy. It's the wild. the old cast members coming out of the woodwork to talk about things about how they've known that these people have and been this shitty. Is it's all of the perfect. workers. It's this perfect. is Vanderpump Rules. Yeah. Yes. So this is the younger people. This is not like the Real Housewives women. It's we're like the married. Like yeah. Nick, it took me like two years to realize that this wasn't anime. Van Wilder or James Vanderbeek. Yeah. I thought that it was mm -hmm. a a a teen kind of movie called like like Vanderpump Rules. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, horrible okay. rules. It makes no fair. sense. Honestly. Yeah. Well, I mean, it does from the Wait, standpoint so, of that she's queen and she rules can, over. Can you this. tell me what the what what these, it means? These, these okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> what thank you for asking. I, you know, I didn't want to go off, but I will. But essentially, there was there's Real Housewives and there's Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and one of the most you the know goat. what? Fuck it. I'll I'm say, say goated. It. The goat. Yeah. The iconic Lisa Vanderpump, who uh, is the great. So it's a last name. It's her last name. And gotcha. She, but now, now he's set last name now he's Van. Middle name Van. Last name Derpump. No, what last name <laughs> Vanderpump. Uh, but she she runs a bunch of restaurants. So like that's kind of what she can I, a second. Andy, can I, I stumbled, no. Andy, then I got this. Andy, can I explain to you the restaurant that this all of this is going down on where they all these people met and worked? It's sure. called Sir, S U R. Do you have and it's Big an Sir? acronym? Yeah, like that. Do you have any idea what that could stand S -U -R, for? S U R, Andy. What is it clear? And, they, and the people that work there are called servers. Oh, okay. Is this kind of like a Twin Peaks Hooters place? Mm -mm. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, no. Mm -mm. 
I just meant like a place for like girls dress hall. No, I mean, uh, yeah, kind it, of. But it's, yeah, not, it's not Hooters. It's oh, not a Hooters. Okay. No, okay. No, no, no. So, so not, not, I don't think it's mandated. Yeah. So it's an ac- just, so it stands it's for an something. acronym. It's okay. an acronym. So it could stand for serve under. Stand up paddling. No. <laughs> That's a P. That's that an is R. A P. You're never going to guess it, so I'm just going to tell you. Sexy, unique restaurant is what it's called. Okay. Sexy, what the fuck? unique now, restaurant. Now, here's the thing. It's either called Sex Unique Restaurant or Serve Under Ryan. Which one of those do you think is true? Serve Under Ryan. Dumb. <laughs> it, they're both generic and dumb. That's weird. No, Sex Unique Restaurant is excellent. That it is the weirdest thing weird. ever. But it is excellent. And it totally yeah. fits the vibe of what they do there. And, and it's, so it's like a sexy kind of restaurant? It's not sexy. It's, it's, it's LA, though. It is. Well, you it's, remember what they were supposed to be like? Posh, you, what they right? wear is sorry. It's it's not supposed to be titillating. No. Yeah, it's not Hooters. It's <laughs> like, not Hooters. The way that they, they phrase like it sex. is that every like it's the cream of the crop in terms of like hot people that work there. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. Which I was so like, it's, okay, it's like so when you were a teen and you'd walk by Abercrombie or Fitch, and it's like, why is that dude in my school shirtless standing yeah. outside <laughs> Abercrombie? Hundred percent. Exactly. So what, weird. Can I ask a question real quick? Yeah. As we go? We, look, let's just talk about how like. Abercrombie Fitch made teenagers stand shirtless outside the restaurant. Yeah. Dude, and all those teenagers gave me a fucking complex, and I was in college. <laughs> Last year, a documentary dropped on Netflix about Abercrombie, and you should totally watch it. It's so fucking good. It's one part, one and done, like hour and a half or I think something. It might be Hulu. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Freaking Worth excellent watching. stuff, man. And wow. it goes through like all the shady shit going on and like how it all happened and like uh, taking advantage of these like college kids. Like it Weird. is wild. Okay, keep going with your. Uh so Vanderpump, yeah. yeah. So uh, Lisa Vanderpump, she's an Der icon. Pump. She imagine um, <laughs> Van Der Pump. She's she's uh, uh, very British um, mm-hmm. and oh. dresses like uh, a, a sexy Austin Powers. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Give, I'll give you right. That. A lot of so suits. very unique look to her. <laughs> and and what, what's the backstory? Why is she famous? Restaurants. So yeah. she, okay. her and her husband, but mainly her, uh, run a handful of restaurants. Well, that's how they got wealthy. Yeah, she's famous because, because of Real, of Real Housewives. Real Housewives. Hills. So they were their restaurant tours. They were they got famous because of the the show. Okay. Unlike Kyle uh, Richards, Richards, who of course we all know from the Halloween series. From Halloween, yeah. she was mm-hmm. the little girl at Halloween one, yeah, but true. now she's also in the more recent movies. I reference her a lot. Um, and they got in. And Kyle Richards is the sister of Kathy Hilton, who's the mother of Paris Hilton. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Sister or sister in law. Then sister, you have the mom sister. of Bella and Gigi Hadid, who's also house housewives popping off. Beverly Hills, the yeah. Housewives, and franchise. The, the Housewives really, when you when you start to unravel the mystery of the Housewives, are responsible for every celebrity that's ever been made. Straight up, yeah. I feel like the Housewives are like maybe the Patriots in Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> like, oh, like they're dude, behind, they are actually behind the economy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Andy Cohen at Bravo, I would not be oh. surprised the amount of power that man has. But yeah, so essentially, she was on uh, Beverly Hills Housewives for a long time until she got. Very wrongfully outed from the show. It's bullshit. I'll never let it go. Wait, who was? Oh, Vanderpump. Vanderpump. Okay. Yeah. She got bullied off. Puppy Gate was not her fault. Uh, so then uh, she you? she got a spinoff. I mean, even before she got kicked off, she had a spinoff, which is why all the, the other women hated her. Because, like, she was clearly the fucking best. Yeah. She was the, yeah, she was the most popular. So the spinoff was Vanderpump Rules, which was uh, taking place at sex unique restaurant uh, with all these, like, young, like, 21-year-olds that all wanted to be actors or models. Did she have a little dog that had alopecia? Yes. And she also <laughs> always walks around. She has like 10 Pomeranians. Uh, and this is, this is like. <laughs> she had this little dog that had like she one walked, hair on it. That, <laughs> yeah, uh, he, they had to put him in like little sweaters. Yeah. And then oh, he eventually puppy died. Puppy gate. I thought Tim said pumpy gate. Like. Oh, Vanderpump. Vanderpump. Either no, would work, Andy, puppy gate. honestly. That's Lisa right there. That's Lisa. <laughs> Neither work. <laughs> yeah. So there's. Oh, that is that Dorit? Who is yeah, that? Yeah, that is Dorit on the left. And oh, that's Rinna the girl the from right. the. From Lisa, That's Lisa Renna. Renna. Yeah, Lisa Renna's yeah, incredible. From, she's also on it. What do you know? She's Lisa a real Renna housewife. From? From, from like um These of Our Lives? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That's, yeah, that's what like, I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah generic yeah, TV it. commercially no, kind of things. That. Lisa I knew Lisa Renna before she did this. She's been in a ton of stuff. Well, yeah. When I was a kid, I just remember thinking, like, that lady's hot. Like, that, that that's awesome. a hot lady. Yeah. But she does, like, what? workout video e kind of things, right? Well, no, what? but I would say it was mostly because my grandparents would babysit me or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, we would stay over at their house during the summer while my parents would be at work. And my grandma would always watch, like, Days of Our Lives or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, it wasn't Days of Our so Lives. So popular. I, I forget Jack what Renner says she, in, in the live chat, Landers in the live chat, says she's an episode of Community. Maybe you might know her from that, Andy. Uh, also, and, or, somebody oh. in the chat says that their old neighbor was Sheena. 
And like my mind is blown. We're getting to verify <laughs> some <laughs> information there. Um, but yeah, also what's interesting is uh, Lisa Rinna and her husband, Harry Hamlin, who you know from, from Mad, Mad Men. Men. And a bunch oh, of other stuff. I, Harry I Hamlin, gonna, I think, was a soap opera actor. Barrett, I was going to yeah. say Better Call Saul. Oh, and they were, but they were together <laughs> as a couple Hamlin. in Veronica Mars. Are they still together? Yes. Good, because I like them as a couple. Yeah. And I also want to say- Lisa Rinna right now on the outs. Oh, is she on the outs? She got, Lisa Rinna she got was, booted. Uh, uh, looking it up, uh, Days of Our Lives and Melrose Place. Melrose, Melrose Place. Place is the big one, yeah. I'll tell you what, I heard her say one time on the show, uh, you say what you will about her, I don't, I don't really follow her, so if, there's, if we're not liking her- <laughs> Say what you will about her. Well, I don't know, I just, I, uh, my context for Lisa <laughs> Rinna was, like, yeah. was like two years ago. This is a Starbucks thing all over. But again. one day, she, one time she was like, I'll take any job. I don't care. Everyone else is like discerning. Mm -hmm. I will do a, a commercial for freaking like a, a poo medication this, or whatever it is. This was a plot line on her show where she does she does QVC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she's like, all y'all trying to act fancy like you don't want to make more money. I'm gonna do QVC commercials. Yeah, I don't. She care. does whatever. Whoever pays. And she was like, I'm not above anything. I'll just what, what, whoever wants to pay for stuff. And you gotta respect that hustle. God, QVC was something I watched all the time at my grandma's house. It's like, well, there's something about it. My, and my grandma would buy shit from QVC oh, really? all the time. Yeah, she'd buy shit for me and my brother for Christmas <laughs> off of QVC. QVC was you like... Did, it would have been hilarious if you did your appointment own... Appointment viewing. QVC commercial by accident for her. You're like, Grandma, I just want this Gibson guitar. <laughs> <laughs> it's like $2,000. <laughs> it was just such a weird show in retrospect. Oh, yeah. Like, still going. Is it still going? Yeah. yeah. Lisa Ritter still does it. I mean, it's like... like this day. <laughs> I guess, like, it's such a... It reminds me of Hacks. It's just such a, a, a product that exists that you tell young kids about that they would never believe is actually a thing. Wait, some person just sold you something on TV for an hour? Like, that's really weird. Mm -hmm. like and an it's hour actually long long. commercial. Yeah. And, yeah. And like, that's just, the weirdest part. It was the coolest when they would show off the toys, the tech, and like, here's this new boombox or this new CD player or this Blu-ray player, PlayStation. Like, oh my god, they're playing with a PlayStation right now. Super Nintendo. Whoa. Here's all the buttons and the fucking triggers on it. Oh my god, that's the coolest thing. Anyway, enough about QVC. Sorry. Okay. So how do we get what okay, how do we get to Haley Bieber from this again? I'm so confused. Oh no, we were just talking oh, we're about on. other pop culture. I think. We talked about Vanderpump. We you had us you were driving towards something with that, or did we finish? I mean, no, I was just saying that like it's just been there's a lot going on right now. It's really hard to talk about anything else because this is like the, the most wild. Oh, oh yeah, okay. No. Like, it's like so Xbox who, buying Activision with Blizzard. Because it's not that lady that's going to jail, right? Who's what? Isn't there a lady no, that's that like her husband job. defrauded the uh, 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 Aaron Brockovich people? Oh, you're talking about no. Real Housewives of SLC, Jen Shaw. That's different. Totally, totally different. Uh, okay, I thought. Uh, this is about the Toms. The yeah, Toms. okay. The Toms. So who? Let's. Listen, they're in. Can you get if the you the twenty-one minutes that, that, that thing you sent me? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if they're We're in, like, all. in for a penny, in for a pound, everyone. We're going to talk about technology today. You're We're lucky that you didn't get a dedicated show of just me and Tim talking about this. I yeah, think that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> like, honestly, I'm, I'm not might... kidding you guys. Like this weekend, I spent way too much time not doing, but thinking about writing a video essay explaining all this and using the video wall because I'm like, motherfuckers need to know what's going on right now. You should. You should absolutely. You're making a TikTok video. Well. Yeah, it is. This is all happening in real time. I have a great time. TikTok that'll explain this to you in football terms that I can send you. <laughs> oh, I like this, Joe. I like this. Yeah, but essentially what, what's happening here is eventually Lisa Vanderpump uh, has a spinoff show, Vanderpump Rules. That is about a bunch of 20-somethings that are... Now, okay. One of the guy's names is Jax. Oh. And he spells it J-A-X. <laughs> number one guy in the group. <laughs> He's the number one guy in the group. Just to know what you're dealing with, Andy. <laughs> Just so you feel like what you're dealing with, okay? I yeah. will tell you that not one, but two of these people have fake names. Three of these people have fake names on here. Like, do you see that girl, name. Raquel? I don't doubt it at all. In the middle right? Yeah. Her name's actually Rachel. But we didn't learn that until, until the drama weekend. unfolded this weekend. So that's how <laughs> juicy this is all getting. <laughs> Jax? Definitely Jason. But he goes by Jax. Jax is Jason, yeah. Lala? Lauren from Utah. Lauren from Utah. But yeah, now she lives in say, LA, no so way she's her a Lala. Name is Lala. <laughs> nope, nope. But okay, so boiling this down, like of course you can look at this and glean whatever information you need from it. But essentially, they started the it's show like, ten years ago. It it's is. a bunch of kids, uh, that, like that are that are all hot, trying to be models or actors, but they're all working at this restaurant. They're all legitimately working at this restaurant. They're also legitimately all fucking each other because it's a restaurant and in they're hot and twenty. That is what in people LA. did in restaurants, not me, but other people do. <laughs> and so throughout the 
years. I wanted to. I just, <laughs> I just couldn't. I don't want to make out with me. <laughs> Throughout the years, there has been a lot of people coupling up, a lot of cheating on each other, a lot of marriages in this couple that were like at least mostly faithful that we thought. Now, getting to the most important part here. There's two Toms you might notice, Tom Sandoval and Tom Schwartz. They would eventually link up to launch their own restaurant Tom S's. called The Toms. Close. Tommy Hilfinger. Tom Sandoval Tom, Tom. and Tom Schwartz launch a restaurant together. What's it called? Tom Tom. Yes. <laughs> nailed it. No way. <laughs> yes. That's a badass name. I'm not going to lie. Restaurant it. called Tom Tom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. Okay. And like, again, y'all just need to catch up somehow because I can't get into the details here. It's but so what good. you need to know is Tom Tom launched a, re- a restaurant owned by Lisa Vanderpump still. She's still involved. Eventually, yeah. they're like, hey, we don't want you involved. We're big boys. We could do our own thing. So they launch another restaurant. So Tom Sandoval and Tom Schwartz launch Lot another Lot. restaurant called. <laughs> If they were to have a second restaurant, what do you think it would be? Sandoval and Schwartz. Sandoval and Schwartz. You're so close. Sandoval. Schwartz and Sandys. Okay. That's the name of it. That's great. Schwartz and Sandys. That is a great name. That is the name of their second restaurant. Nick is on board with Schwartz and Sandys. That's a great name. Because they actually uh, serve. Katie does not uh, think so. Is it Surf and Turf? Like, what? Is it like Schwartz and Sandals? They just opened. It's essentially. (laughs) How are we not going to these places? I'm going in like three weeks. You're trying so hard. This isn't even talking about the restaurant that they have in Vegas. Is this a WrestleMania show we're doing? I, oh, the first of it, I'm going a week early because I'm trying to go to all these fucking restaurants, bro. Are you kidding me? I love that. <laughs> but so, okay. So there's it's essentially an Instagram bar where like all of the like booths and tables and stuff like that just look cool for Instagram pictures. I don't know how good the food and or drink. I'm sure it's are. all dog water, but whatever. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. So, so there is, uh, there's Sir, there's other Vanderpump restaurants and then Tom Tom and Shorts and Sandy's are there too, <laughs> to restaurants. So there's this girl, Ariana, bless her heart. She's Upper like right one of the her. more like normal one normal people on the show uh who hasn't really done anything wrong to anybody um so, <laughs> so she hooked up with relative. lala at one point they did hook up in the back of a car so, and it blew everyone's mind wait yeah ariana and ariana lala and lala. lala yeah yeah lala went okay. down on ariana wow was very just random yeah cool. um but it happened that people experiment um so ariana and tom sandoval have been together for like the whole run of the show essentially Nine years. <laughs> season three on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're on like season 11? 10, Ten now. Yeah. So like, it's been a while. They've been together forever. And then this guy, James Kennedy, in the middle, not even going to get into him, but he's, he's a the trip. the worst. Uh, him and Raquel have been together for a long time. Okay. Tom Sandoval pays for an engagement for uh, James and Raquel, $12,000 of his own money. And it goes they, well. They threw Raquella instead of Coachella. Coachella, Raquella, yeah. Sick. And Fuck. James Kennedy uh, proposes, it's, it's, and they're going to get engaged. And this is a, we all know, like this ain't going to fucking work. They no, don't even make it to I the altar. Her. It's it's a disaster. They break up on a reunion. Yeah, it's crazy. They break up live, and it was insane. But cool, great. So then Tom Schwartz on the bottom is with Katie, and they've been married for fucking ever. Then. Last year, they get divorced. And it's like, holy uh-huh. shit. Y'all were the, the only in love couple, really, whatever. We all were like, we believe love was it. real because of you two. <laughs> we're like, uh, th- we no, thought they were just going to fake it time. forever. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> so, Schwartz and Katie, they're divorced. So, that this has all happened in the last like year in between the last seasons of the show. So, then we get back to this new season that just started. And all the drama is Raquel is now single, and she is fucking everything up. She's making out with people left and right. Like, half this whole picture, she's just making out with them. And we're all like, what the fuck? That was not your personality at all. Yeah, you were super no. quiet. She got, once got called a Bambi-eyed bitch. Like, oh, that's her whole personality. Yeah. Messed up. <laughs> so, she's, so. I don't like saying this about women, but she's real dumb. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably gonna get canceled for that, but I don't care. No, you'll be fine, Joe. You'll be fine. You sit next to me. You're gonna be fine. Gonna so, be fine. so I need y'all. I know I'm saying a lot of shit here, Andy Cortez. I need you to lock in for what I'm Try about to, to say. Yeah. Okay, Tom Schwartz, Tom Sandoval. Yeah, they have a restaurant called Tom Tom. I'm gonna need okay? a week off after this. By They're best like... fucking friends. Yeah, That's yeah. Nice. They're best friends. They got, man. Tom, Tom, they got Schwartz and Sandys. They look fucking out for it. each other no matter what happens. So would you believe that mm-hmm. last year there were rumors that started at, during Coachella that Raquel made out with Tom? And we're like, oh, no fucking way. Are you serious? And now, hold on to that When she was dating James. No, after they broke up. After they, oh, broke, after up they broke up with Tom Schwartz. And we're like, that's oh. 
wild that's crazy we start watching this new season and she's flirting hard with him and like trying to get him to make out on camera to the Not point even that flirting she was like do you want to make, make out? out with me and tom and he's like hey are, are the cameras still rolling and he like looks back and sees the camera rolling he's like oh no no like it's like really fucking awkward shit anyways that was all what was on the show what happened off the show was they're bumping up. ariana picked up her essentially husband's phone tom sandoval uh-huh at, a, at one of his, like, because he also does music, at one of his concerts. <laughs> of course he's a band? He he's a band? <laughs> is he a, is he a DJ? DJ? No, no, it's even worse. No, James, James Kennedy, Kennedy is a DJ. DJ. Yeah, that makes sense. That Tom's makes sense. band, Tom Which Sandoval and the Most for? Extras. The worst band name on the face Wait, of the earth. No. Now, we just came up with our band name. We'll tell you guys later. Yeah. What, was, what was the guy's band Tom name? Tom Sandoval and the Most Extras. Oh, God, these guys are just... <laughs> <laughs> knocking them in the park. Geniuses. They're just, anyway, so, not to get too distracted <laughs> by the band. In the park, yeah, just still just, base it. <laughs> I have so much good shit to talk about, but to stay here, because I need to land this plane with this point, because it's very fucking important. <laughs> Ariana finds his phone, and is like, oh, I'm going to take his phone so that like, it doesn't get lost or stolen or whatever while he's fucking performing. She looks at the phone. There is a text message, video message from Raquel masturbating. Holy shit! Like, this yeah, is, like, man. the most insane shit. I mean, it'd be the equivalent of, like, of Danielle sending me that video. Yeah. And Gia finding it. Being like, what? Like, this is the most out-of-nowhere insane thing. So now, everything's falling apart. It's confirmed. It's fucking real. Um, two of the people are on... Um, <laughs> Raquel and another girl that I even talked about, Sheena, are on... She's not even on this, which is wild. <laughs> Sheena, Sheena's not even on the <laughs> graphic. Like no, it. and she's, like, can a... I- She's been on the season like every season. That's so funny that she's not on this. Can I? Can I? I'll say this. We might actually have to cut this out of the podcast. That'd be cool. <laughs> Why, in the back of my head, when you said my wife sending you in of, of her masturbating a video, did I think that I would be in the background going like this? Send it to Tim. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's how oh, fucked up I am. CC Tim. I'm gonna, I'm gonna time code that just in case. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jesus <laughs> fuck <laughs> me. All right, get in get in back here. Get it back on track. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a show called Watch What Happens Live that essentially the head of Bravo does every night, and it's a live talk show where he interviews the people on these different shows. Yeah. All right? To promote the episode that just happened or whatever. Of and all the different shows. All the Friend of the Bravo show, shows. Jerry O'Connell, on it all the time. Uh, Celebrities are on like, it all yeah, the time. They have, like, uh, Med- Below Deck and stuff like that on there. Yeah. Oh, all okay. the shows. Like Helen all Mirren the- was on last week. It's fucking, or a couple weeks ago. It's crazy. It's like, it, when we get him on that, he'll have crested. Oh, yes. We'll know. That's yes. the dream. I need to get on that, that, that fucking show. So on that show, it was this girl, Sheena, and Raquel, and they're there doing the show. Couple weird answers here and there, like they do like rapid fire questions, and they ask like who's hot, which of the Toms is hotter, Tom Sandoval, or Tom Shorts, and she says Tom Sandoval, and we're all like, that's fucking weird. You're like, hooking up with Tom Shorts, you're hooking up with Tom Shorts, best friend. So this is crazy. So, but that's as an the, audience, the names mix in. we're like, this, this is kind of fucking weird, whatever. So, this is all stuff that happened live a couple days ago. Then. We're getting shit in real time because what ended up happening is Ariana. Can we bring the picture back up, please? <laughs> Ariana finds the video on Tom Sandoval's phone of Raquel, Raquel masturbating. Right, okay. Ariana immediately is like, fuck this shit. Calls Sheena. Who her bestie. She, her bestie, who she knows. She knows. Raquel's besties. No, no, no. no, no, no. Ariana's, Ariana's bestie. Okay. Now. She calls her homie. Calls her homie, knowing that she's live on this show in New York with Raquel. Oh, shit. Calls her out. It's like, yo. What the fuck? You hear about Raquel? And she does like, no. What happened? Ariana says, she's like, I need to fucking talk to Raquel. She tells Sheena, Sheena, Sheena gets so pissed. She takes Ar- Ariana or um, Raquel's phone, throws it in the street, throws her against the wall, and punches her in the face. And uh, she has a black eye now. Damn. All right? So it's like, holy shit. So now Raquel's hiding off camera. Like, she just is, like, not showing up anywhere. Bravo's like, get the fucking cameras. We need to fucking figure this shit out. And this is all, like, happening, like, now. Can you imagine being a producer? Dude, on this show? they are... But- they're they are running for their lives trying to get all of this on camera. They gotta oh be God. like Adam me? Schefter with like sports like updates. Nobody. Andy else Cohen's is like this is this is the it. it. This is the the devil works hard. Chris be. Jenner works harder. Bravo producers are working the fucking hardest. Okay. So so Rob now Fox. again, I built that up to take it home here. This is the most important part, I think, where it comes down to cool. We're dealing with the real time and all of that. It is then revealed 
because the audience got involved. The Reddit has been insane. But it is revealed that the Tom that she made out with at Coachella was actually the other Tom. And the Tom that, that they told us it was was a cover-up. The because the whole time she's been having an affair with Tom Sandoval. So all this. Uh, so Tom she was Schwartz never stuff. hooking up with Tom Schwartz. Yeah. I mean, she is still like semi, but it seems like a fake storyline on TV. Where they're both the on the same page. So the, the producers saw it happening and said, "We got to like." No, gotta, no this the is like okay. them covering it up themselves. Oh, uh, was it as easy as just like changing the name in a cell phone to Tom from Tom Sandoval to Tom Schwartz, and then we're done? Tom, yeah, yeah. The Tom's. So now, are the Toms wow. mad at each other? No, no, they're on the same page. We we haven't page. heard from Schwartz yet. We we don't know. He does feel a little bit betrayed because <laughs> be like, he claims be he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> they started a third restaurant <laughs> called Raquel. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I it, it's it is the most insane shit. But like, it's all happening and it's it's fucking crazy. Tom Sandoval had to put out an apology thing because like all the restaurants are just getting like. Bombarded. bombarded with like negative reviews and people booing literally people are outside some of the restaurants chanting ariana ariana wow. people went to his concert on friday night the day that this all exploded and we're chanting ariana and he was Yo, not people happy need to find like other things to do uh, you know it's right. fucking insane man Man, they, yeah, people get invested in these people's lives man like it's crazy and the question is, how good is the food at Sword and Sandals? Or what was it called? Sword and Sandals. <laughs> Sword and Sandals. <laughs> Schwartz and Sandys. I oh, my it. God. Schwartz and Sandys. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get back to this crazy story in just a second. But before that, we're going to take a word from our sponsors. <laughs> Shout out to Shady Rays for sponsoring this episode. Look how cool I look. You too can look this cool. Our friends at Shady Rays have you covered from the sun to the slopes with premium polarized shades, customizable snow goggles, and so much more. Shady Rays offers the most insane protection in all of eyewear. Every pair of sunglasses is backed by lost and broken replacements. If you lose or break your pair, even on day one, they told us they will send you a brand new pair, no questions asked. They'll also provide 10 meals to fight hunger in America with every order and have donated over 20 million meals to date. That's fantastic. There's no risk when you shop with Shady Rays. Their team always has your back exclusively for y'all listeners and watchers right now. Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the new year. You can go to ShadyRays.com and use code KINDAFUNNY for 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. Try for yourself. These are five star rated by over 200,000 people. Again, that's shadyrays.com use the code kinda funny shout out to honey for sponsoring this episode honey is the easy way to save when shopping on your iphone or computer and thanks to honey manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past and we all know there's nothing better than the feeling of saving money honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart when you check out the honey button appears and all you have to do is click apply coupons you wait a few seconds you see the fun little dancing guy honey searches for coupons and it finds you the best ones and then you just watch the prices drop we here at kind of funny have been using honey for years and it's helped us save thousands on tech costumes food you name it honestly i just love how easy it is to just set and forget and save that's the best part honey doesn't just work on desktops it works on your phone too you just activate it on safari on your phone you save on the go if you don't already have honey you could be straight up missing out you can get paypal honey for free at joinhoney.com slash kind of funny that's joinhoney.com slash kind of funny cody hagler that's a great point he says i can hear nick saying i'm tom sandoval i'm tom sandoval <laughs> Oh man, that's wild. Dude. That is that is totally wild. I would not have uh, I would not have thought that was because I always just wonder that. like how much is it of it is contrived? How much is like? So it the thing is, like look, it. reality TV is reality TV. Everything is fake to an extent. Yeah, we're sitting here and we're talking to each other in a the way we don't talk to each other in real way. Life. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. It's oh, the are? same thing. What <laughs> is, is that supposed to do? That? <laughs> yeah, I guess Nick never is. <laughs> but like, you get what I'm saying. Where it's yeah. like, yeah, and like the thing is, like, it's no matter what. There's always going to be storytelling and editing and like whatever. But at the end of the day, like these are real people's lives. Like he really did cheat on her. Like you can't fake that. It's real. Yeah. And like they're being affected very yeah. negatively by it and like we don't know how it's going to result but like i don't think it goes well like i no. think people are getting fired i think it's going to like end very nasty i don't know if they're gonna oh maybe they'll get fired but yeah they've already said that they're extending filming past like the initial episode run that they were going to get this season and then the oh, reunion I films bet. in two weeks and that's going to be 
Now the reunion are speaking. the reunions. Those are the ones where it's like thirty people yeah. on, on the bleachers, right? Yeah. And then those are always the ones that like I yeah. come in and I, I I find Danielle watching those and I I can't. They're difficult to sit through because I feel like they have to get all the negative energy out toward each other and it's just so awkward. And then it's also awkward because they're all dressed to the nines and they look so like. Like they're going to the Met Gala mm-hmm. and they're just yelling at each other and mm-hmm. crying. And you're just like, what the vibe of these two things are perfect. so off. It's ridiculous. Why do I mean, I mean, that's a stupid question. I know exactly why people love this shit. Because people love drama and they love they they love that like heightened human emotion yeah. of all this stuff. And you're invested in, in these storylines. I've I have I've watched not one single episode of Vanderpump Rules. And I'm so fascinated. I want you to bring that graph back up oh, and dude. show me more things that are <laughs> happening. Even though all these human beings to me, seem interchangeable with one another. Something Although, you want to know something that's crazy. Yeah. Raquel, the girl that's in the middle of it, James, her ex fiance, yeah. dated for a very long time. Kristen, who is also Tom Sandoval, the cheater, his ex girlfriend. So it's all just a little circle. Who is that person to the right? How do you say that person? Or to the left of James? How do you say her name? Stassi. 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 Not Stacy. No, no st- it's like Na- Natasha. Oh, Stasi. Okay. What's Jacks of t- <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Jax got the canceled. number one guy in the group. Real bad. Real canceled. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. Jax, yeah. Stasi, and Kristen got very canceled. Stasi, I remember having. They got kicked off the There show. was a big issue with her, right? Or there was some issues. There was some drama with all that. So that were they all caught up in the same thing together? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Next week, we're going to break down it all the has, ring lawyer. They were all really terrible to that girl, Faith, on the left. Okay. 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 And then, Andy, who's Margaret? Uh, Margaret is a- <laughs> <laughs> going through Elden Ring lore right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like we got to balance out that <laughs> nuanced topic with yes. something that's a little a little bit more, um, less nuanced, I guess. Tim, you had a topic you wanted to bring to the podcast today. I, I do. I do. Pretty I do. It, it, we got enough time cool. to talk about it, I, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. Yeah. So uh, this is actually a while back, I think in December, um, I saw a tweet thread, and I started reading it, and I, I, I got maybe like two or three tweets down. I'm like, this is fascinating as shit. I was like, I'm going to bring this up in the KF podcast. And then totally forgot, totally blanked. And then today, I just Google searched my own email like for KFP. Mm-hmm. See, what 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 have I not thought of? And boom, this thing came back to me. Can you please bring it up, Kev? It's this really interesting Twitter thread. Uh, so uh, this is from, can you scroll up so I can see who the name is? Trung fan, Trung T fan on, on, uh, on Twitter said, read a great Reddit thread, uh, putting historical dates in perspective. Here are eight gems. And it's just these random facts that like put dates on things that you just would not I just saw one today. This is perfect timing. I'm very I, I love this. Really so cool. the first one is uh, the moon landing was only 66 years after the Wright brothers' first flight from 1903 to 1969. Within a lifetime, humans went from having limited flight tech to traveling about 239,000 miles from Earth. That's, That's wild. pretty wild. Pretty damn wild, right? 66 years. Okay. That is crazy. That's always funny because you think the Wright brothers are like, that was clearly back That's in 17th now, century. Right? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's just full of disrespect. <laughs> you know what? But I, and people okay. wonder why I, they say I'm the monster. They don't understand that it takes a monster to create a monster. And you're that <laughs> monster. Look, right look <laughs> Nick, Bear, Bear's not invited to Sword and Sandals. <laughs> He's not going to get it, man. <laughs> Everyone's going to like He-Man. All the servers are going to look like He-Man. <laughs> uh, so go to the Spark, next that's one. That's a badass name for a restaurant. <laughs> we should start that. So this next one. On a related note, Cleopatra uh, lived closer in time to the moon landing than to the construction of the pyramids. Whoa. In fact, some woolly mammoths still roamed the earth when the pyramids were being built. That's wild. That's So weird. the pyramids were tw- 2500 BC, and she lived in 69 BC. Nice. What the fuck? But Andy, right? Like, this This is the one to me where I'm like, damn. Like, I'm, I'm a dumb kid, did not pay enough attention in history yeah. and all that stuff. But, like, it's weird that media has just kind of, like, Cleopatra, pyramids. That's the imagery that you have, so you just kind of, like, connect them. I can't imagine a woolly mammoth being alive while humans are working on the pyramid. That's just a hairy elephant. (laughs) He's right. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, what? So no, this is this Thank is the you, problem I have with this for Nick Scarpino. <laughs> welcome, Ask zoologist Nick Scarpino. <laughs> it's a hairy it's elephant. <laughs> it's all, it's one of those things that's wild because people always talk about dinosaurs, right? They go like, "Oh, dinosaurs lived how long ago?" And then they quote some ridiculous thing, and I'm like, "That can't be right." They're like, "Dinosaurs roamed the planet ten hundred million years ago before humans." I'm like, 
Was it that long ago? Well, the, yeah, there's always, I think the stat is always like that the Triceratops are closer to humans than they were to T-Rexes. Yeah, that's mm. wild. There's like one of those oh, facts. that you are like a dinosaur expert. No. Oh, you know all the dinosaurs. Name five dinosaurs right now, Andy. <laughs> name, no, name six, and I'll try to pick which one's not real. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun for me. Brontosaurus, Brachiosaurus, mm-hmm. Dilontosaurus, Dilophosaurus, <laughs> um, Pachycephalosaurus, Velociraptor. This first D one that you said was fake. You're right. Damn it, You're I'm right, bro. You're fair. right. You didn't even have to see, laugh I love at that. I love that because like I just I, named Jurassic Park animal. That's I, all it is. I feel like most people can name five dinosaurs. Not most. I'd say I'd assume that most people can name five dinosaurs. Stegosaurus. But they're gonna say Tyrannosaurus Rex and like, Pterodactyl. Andy goes for the fucking like. I just named the one. There was the one with like a lot of syllables that I was not familiar with. Dude, it's, it's the one from the movie. They're all oh, from okay. the movies. How far do you think you could get into the technical names of the dinosaurs before you were like, the one with the three horns? Oh, <laughs> maybe three names in. Like, I, I, am, I do not know this shit, I don't know, but Andy yeah, the, blows the, my mind. The, the ones that the... Uh, I, I'm sure somebody will correct us in the comments, but yeah, there's that one fact that I always hear that I just mentioned is like, I'm not sure the exact species, but that the i believe it was the uh triceratops is closer to humans living than it was to the time that the t-rex was living or yeah. some of the dinosaur that you just assume, always assume are always all together. the dinosaurs yeah. are all together all yeah. Together. yeah and it was like way later of a gap in time which always those things always blow my mind Jordan D with the Elite Comment 5 is easy. Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Tears. I mean, that's Power where Power I would Rangers. start. So good. Power Rangers. <laughs> uh, awesome. Uh, awesome. Super awesome. Dude Time. <laughs> Can we bring back the uh, Let's bring the red? back up. A really well, well-traveled person could have potentially met uh, Socrates. Socrates, Confucius, and Buddha. Whoa. Whoa. That's wild. Whoa. Huh. That's wild. So uh, for the audio listeners, Socrates uh, lived from 470 to 399 BCE, Confucius was from 551 to 479 BCE, and Buddha was from 563 to 483 BCE. That is buck wild. Oh yeah, that's insane. I just assume these are centuries Eons away apart. from each other. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's wild. Next up, Oxford University is older than Machu Picchu. What? And it's not even close. Oxford yeah. was made in 1096. And Machu Picchu was in 1450. No way. Machu Picchu was like in 300. Yeah, <laughs> right? That That's crazy. crazy. Okay. Next one. And it's weird. Just it, They're using imagery that just, again, I, I think of Machu Picchu as some like r- right after, like right after Christ. Like, yeah. Like I'm talking like. The first civilization of people discovering technology, and then Oxford, meanwhile, looks like goddamn Hogwarts. Like, yeah, it's so bizarre. Now, I do. I just want to say this because uh, I didn't think about it till right now. I did not verify any of this. <laughs> so <laughs> people, are, people are total fucking bullshit. People are one hundred percent. But used the to first that one us. that seems right. The Wright brothers and the the moon. We I mean, know we can, I can Google games. that. So like, That's, we can figure yeah. it out. So I'm <laughs> I'm gonna trust it. But I just want it out there that if this is all. Bullshit. It would be great if it was all fake. <laughs> I apologize. It would be great if it was all fake. Tim had that Andy, moment that I have. Let's make a fake account. And we'll just like yeah. Yeah. Thread and have Tim find. Get add to it. Right, the Wright brothers was 19 o- 1903 was their first flight. Moon landing. Moon landing was. The first person to eat, drink a Gatorade is closer to the... F- <laughs> yeah, 1903 to 1969, six, six years. That's right. Yeah. That's correct, yeah. Cool, then we're, we're good. Fine. We have to blindly... We verified one. We don't have to worry about the rest of it. Right. Exactly. So you totally had that oh, that Nick moment where I'm like, did I make all this up? Is any of this real? <laughs> I don't know. Did I hear any of this? That's why I need the Tim app, and I'll explain that later. Oh, oh Lord. No. Um, yeah. The fifth one is Harvard University was founded in 1636, decades before Isaac Newton developed calculus. God, in the lucky, lucky people who didn't have to learn Harvard. calculus in college. What did they have to learn? <laughs> Basic math? That would have been awesome that's, back then. That's so great. Isn't that a film this, studies this program back then? This fucking dude develops ca- Can you imagine all the naysayers while this Newton guy is talking about ca- They're like, get that fucking new map out of here, dude. <laughs> get that get out of my map. face. Uh, J.R.R. Tolkien and Otto Frank, who's the, the father of Anne Frank, and Adolf Hitler were all present as foot soldiers at the Battle of the Somme in 1916. Whoa. That's, That's wild. wild. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that either. I don't like any of these. I don't like that either. <laughs> Next one. Let's see here. People began actively traveling the Oregon Trail 
1843 to 1869 uh, when the fax machine was invented what? in 1843. Fax machines are that old? What? And they still don't work. How does that even make sense? <laughs> I that's I did not know the fax machine was like that where it was like a telegraph that would translate into <laughs> faxes. That's really cool. Huh. That's actually that's probably the most cool piece of information that I've received today. I don't believe that one. I'm gonna call <laughs> Something I'm gonna call about this guy. I like the one of the Alejandro <laughs> left. That is Tim. This is just Kingsman lore. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty incredible. I okay. can't wait till we get to the last uh, tweet of this thread, and it's gonna be like figure out which one is wrong that I yeah. made up. Oh like, hell yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna say Andy, make one up. <laughs> Uh, and then the last one here, while uh, Hannibal yeah. was crossing the Alps into the Roman Empire with elephants, the Great Wall of China was in its initial construction phase. Okay, I buy both those. I don't really know too much about Hannibal or when the Great Wall was, was constructed, but that sounds about right. I, yeah, I feel like maybe in just in history class, we like learned about them in different yeah. sections. Yeah. So I never think about them overlapping. I would have always assumed that the Roman Empire was a lot earlier than yeah. the Great Wall of Well, it spanned like a long time. Yeah. That's, that's the thing with the Romans is like... You know, Tell me we about might not be—we <laughs> might, well, might, might not be tall, but we, you know, we live for a while. Oh, okay. This uh, girl uh, that I follow on Twitter today was talking about um, her name's Monica. She said, "I remember sometimes when I'm like all cozy in my blanket, I remember that the last last execution by guillotine was only in 1977, Whoa. and capital punishment by guillotine wasn't even outlawed until 1981 in France." Like, for perspective, there were National Lampoon's movies coming out while there were medieval-style guillotine executions still happening in France. Damn. <laughs> Which is, like, fucking crazy. France going hard, dude. Going hard. Chevy Whoa. Chase. <laughs> 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 Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase, like, I can't be on this movie tour right now. People are getting wow. beheaded. People are getting fucking beheaded. <laughs> That's crazy. That actually leads perfectly into a Patreon question we have from Madeline at Mad Exposure. It says, what's a piece of technology item slash software that you think we'll no longer be using in, uh, at all in five years. Of course, she wrote that in because she's a patron. If you guys want to write in questions too, you can be a patron. And you know how. Patreon.com. In five funny. years? Five years from now, what technology that we're currently living with or software or something, item, do you think will no longer be around? My this prediction, shoes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll go the way of Fran. Just with those little foot booties. I am not a violent also person, not but I want to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> Are shoes technology? <laughs> sure. No! <laughs> shoes are technology. Sure. You, lay, you got to lace them. They have stuff in them. It, it was, Remember, what does that mean? It was I, exclaimed with so much confidence. I, well, uh, well, also, why why did you say that, Nick? Did you just look at my shoe in front of you? Like, this, <laughs> this fucking... What answer also, will can I Can I be 100% honest with you? Yeah. I looked at your shoe about an hour ago when I read that question. and But the first thought was, how come Tim doesn't punky Brewster it more? I don't He's got all these cool Jordans. How come he doesn't wear one of one color and one of the other color? Oh. I, I do it. I haven't done that in, in a long time here. But I, I in high school, that was my fucking shit. You kidding me? The dated reference. Yeah, I mean, who else wears different color shoes? I don't, Small I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> well, don't but ever But I feel like the fact... <laughs> do not invoke her name. Nothing yeah, that I know about name. Tim as a human being would ever lead me to believe that he would mismatch his Jordans. Well, well because, that's... But if the mismatch matched more... <laughs> But it's I not a mismatch, it's a more match. I know, but I still don't match. think... The Tom Tom. <laughs> that goes against like the core of what I know about it. But okay, but hear me out here, Joe. Uh -huh. Imagine if I was going for an American-themed outfit, an Apollo Creed type, uh -huh. and then one of these in blue. And then one of one the red. One in red. That's what yeah. I was thinking. Yeah, exactly that type of I'm going to say this right now. Vegetables. You think they're done? Done. Five years from now. Three years. <laughs> I meant, I think when, she, when Madeline asked that question, she meant all of society, not just you. Oh. We're going to stop eating gotcha. salads. So, I, you know, I really like this so far. Okay, kind of funny list of technology that won't exist in five years. Shoes, vegetables. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just that we don't want to it. Like, maybe kind of funny should use dictionaries more often. <laughs> I mean, might be another one that's coming. That's another maybe, one, yeah. You know, three-in-one shampoo, body wash, conditioner. We won't be doing that. Won't I hope we don't. Man, that's I don't good. think we'd be shamed. I think most I think confused people, look on his face right now. I think people get shamed enough into where like the whole industry is like can't do. It. Like we're a joke. The fact that we're still selling this, we're a fucking joke. That's funny. <laughs> we were talking about it on the next gen podcast about uh, big shampoo and how uh, they sell us lies in business head, with head big and wig. shoulders, man. He's in toes. Andy accused me of being an op today Sports for big wig, <laughs> which I thought meant operator. Sword and sandals, which it turns out in the chat means operative. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I got that one wrong. Oh my god! I'll throw this out there. I think I, I want to say TikTok. I want to say that's one that's gone in five years. 
I, that's, I mean, TikTok maybe, but it, not social version. media. I'm just saying like TikTok. Yeah. We all thought Snapchat was going to be around for a while. I'm sure it still is. Yeah. I, just, I guess it still is. TikTok will be around in five years. I think five years? Ten, I think there's a bit more of a question. Okay. But yeah, no, it's still getting started. It hasn't hit the like peak yet. Do you think Twitter nukes itself in three years? I don't know about all that. That's, that's like, Twitter, he's like, that's Tim's like, don't bring that in. No, it's not that. I just, I just don't. It literally, will it last five years? Maybe. Will it last five minutes? Maybe. We Maybe. just don't know. Yeah. Sure. Well, I, I, I always knows. wonder, like, because we think about all these social media sites that eventually bit the bullet and kind of got phased out, right? Will Google, something like Google, ever get phased out? Google? Mm. Will there ever be a new type of thing that eventually in Google. 20 years we're like, nobody's using Google anymore, dude. We're using both. Like, will that ever happen? Or is it just here to stay now? I feel like it's ubiquitous now. I feel like it, it is the thing. It's like it's like too big to fail, sort of thing. I think so. I think it's just utility at this point. You know, it's mm-hmm. like the power company. Like, like I mean, PG and I guess could go away at some point and get phased into something else. But if anything, it'll just get rolled into something else and called something different. But it'll still exist. Yeah, I, I think that like its function will always have to exist in some sense. And I think that it's similar to like. Growing up, like your mom would be like, "Oh, he's playing the Nintendo," even if I was playing a PlayStation. Yeah, you know, right. But um, like with when MySpace was blowing up, and that was kind of MySpace was really like the first major social media platform in sense of like communities and like profiles mattering and like adding friends and like the vanity of it all. And then that kind of walked so that Facebook would run, and like Facebook is gone now, but it's not gone at all. You know, it's like we we don't use it, but millions of people do. But I do think we're finally at a point that it's not on the skyrocket upside so is it every day mm, that checks out yeah it checks out for your age jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> I, do I don't it. i don't even know when to take that I use yeah. it every day yeah i use what? facebook oh. messenger so much and i don't know facebook why. messenger is <laughs> i don't know atrocious <laughs> no, no, so here are the two message platforms that for whatever reason all comedians use to book each other i wonder facebook why facebook messenger and Instagram, Instagram DMs, yeah. yeah. And Instagram DMs are just so garbage. It's so hard to use. Facebook Messenger are not much better, but at least like they're kind it's, of the, aren't they kind of the same? It's the same UI company, wise? but it's but like, and sometimes you send a Facebook message to someone and they get it on their Instagram. But I don't understand how that works either. <laughs> it's all weird. I I don't like it. And I one time someone DM question. me on Twitter and I was like, I don't like this. What's up? I'm, I'm sure asked a great question. I think like if we were making our top eights. In our MySpace top eight back in the day, you'd put your mm-hmm. like your top eight friends sure. or like seven friends in a band or like Mike, band, whatever. Mike probably be number one. I put yeah, I'd put some like Mike, Tim, Joe, okay. Greg. A couple more options there you can have. Kevin Barrett. Okay. Um, Roger. Raj. Oh, Raj. You've known him for six months. Cool, Greg. Well, Greg probably wouldn't have a. I've seen you talk to Bless. Let me remove Greg and I'll put Lulu in there. You're gonna put a dog in Hell over yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's her. That's, that's her right there. That's okay. Lulu. But Lulu, has Lulu ever bought you milk and cookies? You haven't either. <laughs> I mean, Tim technically did. We used the company card. <laughs> when? Back when Fred, still like Mike still came here the first time. We got you. Out. Remember we oh, was so knocked good. on your door and you <laughs> we had to walk you over to the place to get oh, the milk. So cookies. good. I think I think I'm that set. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds like a good one. That's it. Final list. Yeah, finally. Okay. Yeah. Great. Lock it in. Great. If I remove Rahul, like, you forgot about Rahul. If I remove like yeah, if I remove Roger forever for any reason, I put like Rahul <laughs> there or Rahul, you've met him in person one time. Maybe Hot Cheetos the brand. Like, you got to oh, put a Chester snack Cheeto. food. You know Chester Cheeto has one. But yeah, for mm. Hot Cheetos mm-hmm. the brand. Yeah, people think Andy's lying about these things, but <laughs> sometimes I'll text him like you want to hang out today and I'll see the dot 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 and then nothing. <laughs> 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 and I know I deserve it, but it still hurts. I know I deserve it. Still it. Hurts. Remember, we were like in the Slack one time, Nick, and we were like, we uh, proposed as a question to Tim. I forgot what, and we just saw like Tim Gettys is typing. And we we're like, all right, Tim's typing, and he just kept on typing. We we're like, he's still typing. He's still going. <laughs> yeah. What's yep. this gonna be? <laughs> yeah, we didn't know. <laughs> I fucking love it. Tim scares us. You know, I I think about this type of question a lot. Yeah. Uh, even just from different points of view of just like how far we've come with mm-hmm. with technology and like how rapid it's all been. Like again, we we uh, it's been years at this point, but during the beginning of the pandemic, I think it must have been 2020, we did an episode of Internet Explorers where we watched the iPhone reveal. Uh and it was so cool to see. Like, I highly recommend you guys go check it out. You can watch the whole thing on YouTube. But it was Steve Jobs debuting this thing. 
And they're like, today we're going to talk about three devices. It's going to be a phone, an iPod, and uh, a, a, a computer, uh, like a portable computer. And it was all one device. And then he went, ran through all the different things of like, this is how the phone's going to work. This is how this is going to work. This. What if I told you it's all the same device? And it's just like, holy shit. And now that device has evolved and yeah. turned into where we're at now that the they've awesome iterated power, so much. The iPhone 10. Yeah, the iPhone. I mean, <laughs> but I mean, like that's so small. That's kind of my point too. It's like we're we're it's so, so advanced small. in smartphones that just like the baseline smartphone, even if it's years old at this point, is still the most capable thing in the Super fucking cool. world. Yeah, absolutely. And the ability that you have to do all these things <laughs> is like cool. it's just it's so <laughs> impressive. Where back in two thousand, like I remember being in two thousand seven in high school, wanting to watch the Romeo and Juliet movie uh, from oh, Baz Luhrmann. Fuck yeah, okay. dude. And there was Classic. no way to get it. They didn't have a copy of Blockbuster, and I was trying to illegally find it online, and it was so hard to track down. Eventually, I found a copy that somebody ripped off a of VHS, and it was all this shit. Thinking about that now, it's like I could, if I saw a commercial once in 1992 on a local channel, I could find it within 10 seconds just yeah. by YouTube. Oh, yeah. Like the amount of information we can not just can have, do have, and have the ability to get to at any moment, like has happened so rapidly that like I grew up with the internet and with YouTube and all this stuff and message boards, forums, like all that shit. Like I was chronically online. I'm like part of the first group of people that did that. And for now that to just be like the standard of people is just like the way that online and memes and like all that shit is just like reality now is it's kind of baffling. It's yeah. kind of like when we, when we talk about, the whole idea of of what a gamer is and like back then it was like such a weird term but now you just everybody plays games that's just kind of, mm -hmm. you you no longer really have to, you know you never said i'm a movie watcher i'm a tv watcher a like i consume, yeah. i like watching whatever i like playing games blah, blah blah but like yeah the idea that we were always online back in the day and that was a kind of a trait yeah and now that's just everybody like my dad won't get off his fucking phone watching Instagram reels and TikTok. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. he just like he's on it all the goddamn time. My mom too. And it it's wild to see how that has shifted into the older generations. Nick, you can attest. To this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but with that not even just older generations, even our generations that didn't have those how hard Joey laughed at that. <laughs> That was what really hurt. It was a really good one. Uh, uh, but like you know, I I've always read forums and like game facts, reading through just message boards of like the rap and hip hop board on game facts. So it's like a video game forum, but like people are talking about rap. that's how I found out the music I like. Like all yeah. that stuff was so core to who I am. Gia never did that shit ever. Period. Mm -hmm. Now. Every day she's like looking through Instagram, not just for pictures and stuff, but like the Discover page, getting updates on Vanderpump stuff, and like well, and like the the use of like Reddit, culture. Reddit being is, like what so Reddit is. accessible, yeah, of like oh, we used to have like all of these individual niche forms, and now they're all just combined into one site, and you can kind of get all of them in the same place. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's what I mean. That's the thing. Like I. I missed a lot of the formation of that, and so I don't have the addiction to a lot of the things that are useful. I just have addiction to like the dumb shit, like BuzzFeed lists, where it's like Nick still looks at BuzzFeed lists. He told me this day. a couple of days ago. <laughs> every day. Every, every day. day. I look at a list. And every day, guys, I'm I'm gonna be the most real I've ever fucking been in my entire life. Oh, can you not? I look at I'm gonna say it. You've been oh, so real so many say times it. in your life. The title of these things makes me wanna throw up. Cause it's always 31 tweaks that are so funny you're gonna fucking die. And I'm like, I don't think these are going to be that funny. How dare this writer use this much fucking like Let me hyperbole, hyperbole to, to, to tell me how funny these tweets are going to be. Tim by tweet 10. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they got me, man. They get me every single time. Yeah. I want to share them with you. Nick, I stop myself. Nick, do you still use like uh, Garmin GPS units? <laughs> No, but I still have the thing in my car. <laughs> what a sweet bird. <laughs> no, Because like, that was going to be my next thing that I like. The, oh, my, the GPS. A, a, a device like that, like, yeah. they're, they're still specialized, right? Like, people still seek them out, and they are <coughs> definitely not something that you're going to be seeing flying off the shelves anymore. And they 
haven't been for several years now because of cell phones. Real quick, Andy, I need to stop you because Omega Buster in the chat says he uses TomTom. Tom. <laughs> oh, that's that's wow. not the greatest wow. fucking full circle. That is Back good, to you, Andy. Andy. That's a good pull. <laughs> this is in the podcast. No, um, yeah, like I, I wonder like when the last one will be sold or will will it ever be sold? Because like, do they sell do they still sell PDAs? No. Like the PD, like the little like the old Palm Pilot, pilot mm-hmm. sort of things. Is there a I don't think so. So. every couple of years they always come out like Motorola Razor will come out with like here's a new Razor, or, here's yeah. a new Palm Pre, or here's a new whatever. Like I think that's more gimmicky than anything because like iPads, you know, are just like synonymous now, or tablets. I want a new iPad. Dropkick Tondo in the mm-hmm. chat says truckers one. love Garmin and, and GPS, be- and I think that's true because they it's satellite, so it never like you don't have to worry about signal it's always like connected to a degree so i think it's it has an industrial use i wow. also wonder Jared pulled too up the palm handheld they're if... still selling it for 599 dollars uh, that one looks like a, la- a laser used. gun they've got to be used yeah i wonder for things like garmin too if they still exist but they've just been like rebranded and like they're now marketed to like more of like hikers and like outdoorsy Probably. people versus like yeah uh, like an everyday commuter kind of a thing that's that's my thing is like i 10 years ago if you had asked this question madeline i would have swore that like everything would be gone i would have been like bookstores they're gonna be gone there's no fucking way we're gonna have bookstores anymore and we still have bookstores they're they're small they're niche i mean we do we still that you know i I was in one over the weekend i went in to look at magazines yeah but the the thing is like we have bookstores like in the same way that like we have video rental stores like there's probably more video rental places than bookstores in San Francisco. You think? No, no way. Because there's like such a weird niche, like like Still enthusiast mouse. thing. Yeah. Do we have video rental places? In San yeah, they're like they're all those weird, like uh, not mom. Oh, there used to be one on Polk Street. Like, I know that was like what you go in and like rent you, old can't copies. Can you still or rent stuff from Elmo Draft House now too? Yeah, you might be able. And to. And those things, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is like. I, I bookstores. I mean, I'm not saying there's no bookstores. There's Green Apple. There's uh, City Lights. Books Inc. City Lights. Yeah, there's, there's Books Inc. Which is like hanging on by a fucking thread. Yeah. Know, you know, I, but I like bo- it, like Borders and um, Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Nobles. Like there's no more in SF. I guess the last. I think the one, one in Corte Madera is still. Tanfran. Yeah, I around there, right? that. Yeah, yeah. the Tanfran still... one's leaving too. Oh, uh, but I'm also thinking about like the smaller places, like the more local spots, like uh, the one Green in West Apple, Portal. Um, and yeah, like I, I feel like in every neighborhood. I feel like I, I at least see one like small bookstore. Yeah. I it's 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 one of those things where obviously like bookstores are not going to they're going to continue to decline especially as everyone has rightfully probably should have a Kindle. I love them, but it's also one of those things where like movies, movie theaters are another one of those that if you'd asked me 10 15 years ago I'd be like no fucking way they're still hanging on. But then it's just because I didn't know how cool Tom Cruise was. That's a really good point. <laughs> you, I mean, that's yeah, you underestimated I, everyone. Did the cruise missile, the cruise control. <laughs> um, I will say the one thing that I'm surprised hasn't been the they haven't figured out a way to digitize yet <laughs> is driver's license and IDs. Mm, they're working on it. I know, but it's, I'm surprised that it's not like figured Everywhere, out. Everywhere, like yeah. Wait, that requirement. And, what I'm sorry, in what regard? And like yeah. the fact that like I still have to carry a physical driver's license. Oh, I see. That the Apple it. Wallet see. shit, yeah. where it's like I have yeah. everything on my phone except my ID. That's the question. I mean, the question is, when they start it. chipping us, then we'll be able to be back to figure that out. Yeah. What? When you have a chip in you, you just. Do you follow that girl on TikTok physical? where like she opens everything in her house with the chip in her hand? Pretty cool. Well, you can still you can do that. I'm surprised Kevin hasn't gone that right yet. Mm-hmm. Does it shock anyone else that Kevin does not have a single cybernetic part in him? I think that's what he wants to go do right now. Did he? Maybe. We wouldn't know. I am surprised, too. But I also just think that that's not a thing. Yet. Really. Yet. But the second it is, Kevin's for sure going to adopt it. It right? is, but it is very, like, black market kind of. Mm-hmm. Some real cyberpunk shit. Do you, like, give me a year, Tim, your earliest estimation. Because I think you follow this stuff maybe a little bit better than I do. But just, like, automated vehicles, electric vehicles. Sounds like they're having a lot of trouble right now. Yeah, it sounds like it's a hot button. Like it's like just like legislation and new. It's also the tech. They're getting yeah. a lot of accidents. Yeah. Uh, yeah. At least Whammo was, right? I think that's the one that's getting the, having the issues in San Francisco. Uh, everyone's having issues in some ways, but like it's the, the biggest thing is the commercialization of it all, the autopilot stuff working. And like Tesla is ahead of the curve on a lot of this stuff in terms of like getting it out there, getting it to enough people to do enough tests to be able to get things approved. And um, it, uh, the video of the two old men in the. In the electric vehicle, I didn't great see TikTok. This. Like a, a, the woman uh, in the passenger seat 
taking like her grandparent or grandfather or like or like um, two old dudes um one of them who's uh using sign language she's deaf but they were like both in the vehicle in a self-driving car and they're like but there's no there's no driver there's no like uh, are you kidding me <laughs> they're just like freaking the fuck out watching this car's like steering wheel just turn on its own well, and- think about it this way we're talking about the we're talking about the you know the stuff from earlier with the time gaps right you're 80 years old which means that you we were born in what help me do the math 1940 that sound right yeah 1940 ish right so for your entire life you've had cars they've always needed a driver and then all of a sudden you get in a car and it doesn't need a driver anymore that would blow i mean that i saw one of those whammo cars driving itself with no one inside of it and it freaked freaked me the fuck out i was like whoa it took me back for a second and even more in more context right of like that 80 80 year old person processing that they were 20 when we landed on the moon roughly you know yeah (laughs) i mean Technological. It's deep. freaky as shit. It's yeah. freaky deep. To see them driving, by, uh, you know, like just kind of by themselves. It's always like, I think there was a uh, a San Francisco sort of, what this Uber driver was telling me that something went through where they could only drive past 10 p.m. because of traffic, mm. but then they were able to push that up to like 7 p.m. or something like that, to where they'd be able to drive on the roads at around 7 p.m. And, and after and kind of like test and just drive around and it's, yeah, there it's, used to be like a bunch driving around at night in our neighborhood. I yeah. Remember. It's interesting, man. It's going to be fascinating to see. I mean, that's, that's technology that's going to like really disrupt a lot of things. I mean, the biggest thing with, with it is like the, the responsibility of it and who, who gets in trouble when something goes wrong, because like the reality is like more people are getting in crashes than these auto things would, but People can be responsible for a car crash. Otherwise, the car people are responsible. The car company so like, has to take on liability. They're not going to yeah. want to take on that liability. So I think that that's the biggest nut they got to crack for this to actually be a mainstream thing that's actually working. And, like, I don't know how that looks, if it even ever ends up happening. Because, like, at the end of the day, like, people are going to lobby to not let that happen because it's going to affect so many different uh, infrastructures. Like, well, I mean, the trucking industry in general is, like, if, if it gets to the local market and you can get it to the point where, like, cross-country trucking and things like that is automated, you're putting a lot of people out of work. I mean, you it's crazy. think about Ubers and bus I mean, drivers. Ubers, like, bus literally drivers, taxi drivers. drivers. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it's it's completely wild. That's why I have a thought, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, what's your thought, Nick? One that I feel like is the solution to everyone's problems. A long time ago, there was a movie that came out called Total Recall, and in Total Recall, they had an automated cab called Johnny Cab. And it looked like a marionette had like little lines where like, I'm Johnny Cab, I'll talk like this. If we could paint Kevin to look like that and market Kevin as Cav Cab, oh. we sent him out and he, we say it's automated, but instead every once in a while he goes, Ooh, and he chuckles a little bit. <laughs> we go, Wait, is that real? And we just <laughs> program that in. We program that <laughs> in. We can make a lot of money. That's all I'm going to say, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I, I will say like the full on uh, auto driving stuff, like it's wild and I don't know about, but the like the parking or the summoning your car from the parking lot and all that stuff. that That's like, pretty cool. The, it's incredible and it's yeah. magic and it fucking works. And like you see it and you're like, I just hit a button and now the damn car is coming to me. And it's like my friends do it all the time. And I'm like, this is wild to see. And it it's, just works. That I mean, that stuff, absolutely, I would utilize. Stuff like parallel parking, things like that, where just you're like, done. just, I don't have to worry about these things. The ones with like little minor scrapes and accidents and stuff like that happen. Specifically, not so much for me, because I'm an excellent parallel parker. I love parallel parking, and I love flexing on people who can't par- parallel park. I Same. enjoy it. I will say occasionally, you have to do it on the other side of the street. That trips me the fuck out. It's fucking weird. That's a tough one. Mm-hmm. Um, for everyone else that maybe is not as confident, I think that's pretty cool, and it's great technology, but... Man, the driverless cars, I hate to be the old guy in the room, but it's going to take me a while to get in one of those bad boys. I'm going to have to, like, it's like I didn't get an iPhone for the first, like, four generations of iPhone. I think it's going to be, like, <laughs> four or five years after the those cars are legalized before I'll actually take part in that. You'll have an iPhone 11 at that point. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting a new iPhone. <laughs> they keep, How come but, you just don't do the yearly upgrade thing? You know, here's the thing. I don't know. I'm stupid. A. B. You Tim's, won't spend Tim's, unnecessary money. I'm not going to close my eyes. I'm going to say this next part. And Tim's just going to roll his eyes. That's already done. He did it. There it is. Mm -hmm. They keep texting me like they're car salesmen. And they keep going, we'll give you $400 for your phone. And then the next time I'm like, we'll give you $425 for your phone. I'm holding out until we hit $500. It's going to take two more years. Why are you like the dude who like owns land where pe- where commercial places are trying to like build Like they want the railroad to go And they're like, we want your fucking house. <laughs> and you're like, no, I'm, God, I'm holding out. I'm holding out. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I have absolutely, there's zero reason why I don't get a new iPhone other than just the inconvenience of going down there and picking it up. You don't That's even have pretty to do that, it. though. I know. I know. They've made, 
I, I know. It's unbelievable how easy they've made it to get. Oh, your I, phone. I don't. You don't need it. to leave your house. They mail you the thing. You open the thing. You don't even need to turn your phone off. You just put it in, send it back. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, I yeah, know. I, I got to do it. I get it. You're well, but then I get. I'm like, then I gotta go, uh, Tim. When do I get it? Because now it's. Like, I mean, there's it's an easy close, answer, right? No, just wait. Yeah, wait till October. Get October. the new one. Done. I'll get it in October. Scout's honor. Okay. Someone me. remind <laughs> us in October. Somebody text me in October. Tell me to wait till the next October. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's been your kind of funny podcast for this week. This was a good one, and it I was. can't wait to see how many of you clicked on Tim Explains All the Drama <laughs> from Vanderpump <laughs> Rules or whatever it's going to be. Uh, this has been awesome, guys. Remember, please go out there and support us on Patreon. It means a lot. It helps keep the lights on. Uh, but if you can't do that and you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do and leave a comment in the comments below uh, with anything. It doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, it really, really helps the old algorithm. Until next time, I've been Nick, and you have been awesome. Bye. Bye.